Recently, A's owner John Fisher claimed he's losing $39 to $40 million on the Oakland A's this season alone. Great business baseball writer Maury Brown of Forbes even obtained some numbers that confirm that figure. But what does it say to you that John Fisher's greatest defense is that he's losing $40 million? What does that say about John Fisher? What does that say about the A's? And let me tell you one thing it doesn't say for sure. It doesn't say that this guy can cry poor. John Fisher inherited everything he has. He bought the A's for $180 million. The franchise is worth over a billion dollars. On the open market, it could get as much as $2 billion if he gets to Las Vegas. Turnkey stadium deal, he could maybe even get $3 billion. It would take John Fisher 48 years at $40 million a year to lose a billion dollars on the A's, which is what he could net right now if he sold the team. At least a billion dollars. So let's not cry poor here. Let's not have sympathy for John Fisher. A's owner John Fisher, under his leadership, has slashed the payroll down to next to nothing. He's raised the ticket prices. He's done virtually nothing to market this franchise, leaving it for dead as he tries to uproot it and move it to Las Vegas. Where, by the way, he's asking for $380 million in public funds. Oh, by the way, he also wants free land at the Tropicana site. Oh, by the way, GLPI, the owners of that site, are also going to kick in hundreds of millions of dollars to help. And in Oakland, if John Fisher was going to build a stadium, what did he want? He wanted all the off-site costs covered, plus the on-site cost reimbursed, to a tune of almost a billion dollars. And why does John Fisher need all this so urgently? Because if he doesn't get a stadium deal by the end of the year, his fellow owners in Major League Baseball are gonna cut him off revenue sharing. Free money for John Fisher, a billionaire, who's made easily a billion dollars on this team if he sells it, maybe two. Maybe three billion dollars. So why does this guy need so much help? Why does he have to have revenue sharing? Why does he have to have a new stadium in a much smaller market with a much smaller TV deal so he can keep getting money from other MLB owners who are willing to bail him out if they approve this relocation? It doesn't really make a whole lot of sense, but one thing for sure, if your only defense is that you're so bad at business that you're losing $40 million a year on a professional baseball franchise, I sure as heck wouldn't want to bail you out. That is one thing I know for sure. So we'll see what Major League Baseball does. If they keep this guy on revenue sharing, if he gets a deal done in Las Vegas after they approve relocation, but I'm just telling you right now, everything about this is so annoying. <laughs> It's just so annoying because you're looking right now at what's going on in Major League Baseball. You have a bunch of different team owners saying they need more public help, threatening relocation. They see the Oakland A's doing this with Las Vegas, and they say, if those guys can do it, <laughs> anybody can, and we need to get in line. All these Major League Baseball owners asking for public help while owning a pro sports franchise. Guess what? If you need all this help, you don't have to buy a baseball franchise. Hmm? And don't get me started on the A's TV deal. One of the most interesting things that came out in that Forbes article by Maury Brown, the A's are getting 60 plus million dollars a year from NBC Sports California to broadcast their games. Where is all that money going? Certainly not into the roster. Could you imagine paying 60 plus million dollars a year to broadcast a team who slashed their roster down to nothing and are drawing hash marks and ratings? That's gotta be one of the most all time lopsided deals in the history of baseball. If the A's are going to Las Vegas, the second that announcement becomes official, I guarantee you this, NBC Sports will get out of that TV deal so fast your head will spin because there is no way they're going to get a deal like that in las vegas there is no way 
So, we'll see what happens with our friends at Major League Baseball and the Oakland A's as they pursue a smaller market on a smaller site in a stadium that they won't own. For the love of baseball, no. For the love of money.